What's up, everybody? We're here with Jared Cook, uh, SB Award winner as of this week. One of the biggest catches in NFL playoff history, really, especially as a Giants fan watching the Cowboys go down on that play. Was, <laughs> was I enjoyed it. A little bit special for yeah, you. Yeah, it was a little more special for me. But we're here right now talking about something that an influencer we're very passionate about because we get in front of a lot of young athletes and we like to talk about life after sports. And I think what's unique is we're sitting here right now, you've been in the NFL nine years, and you uh, and I were just on a panel where you shared a lot of thoughts that shows you're thinking forward, you're thinking ahead. And so first off, I just want you to tell a little bit of your story, how you ended up where you are today, um, and how you use some of the things you talked about, like perseverance, to get there. Um, <laughs> I think that's kind of like all about trials and tribulations. You know, you, you have, um, you have blockades in your life that that won't allow you to cross or won't allow you to build any further or or pursue your dreams in the way that you thought that you uh in the original way that you had planned and sometimes life takes us on a detour so i believe that those obstacles that you face um get you through things currently in life and and later on in life um you can use it as motivation and fuel to uh, to push yourself to new levels and new heights and and uh, that's kind of where I'm headed and uh, all phases of 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 my life as a as a football player as a man as a husband and as as an entrepreneur. Well, you ended with the word that you actually introduced yourself as. So we were on a panel. <laughs> all these guys are saying, you know. Um, you know, 12 year career in the NFL with the Titans or currently in the NFL, my sixth year with the Packers, like all these different things. And it gets to you. And I mean, you're one of the biggest standouts sitting up there. <laughs> and yet you say, my name is Jared Cook and I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. And I love that because I'm an entrepreneur and I love how cool it's become to be an entrepreneur. It's almost more cool to be an entrepreneur than an athlete these days. It's crazy. <laughs> but talk about your entrepreneurial journey. What got you to the point where you started saying, you know what? The bigger picture is, I'm a businessman. I'm not just an athlete, I'm a businessman. Um, I think a lot of times, especially from playing sports, you can probably attest to it that uh, when you set out to do something or when you have goals accomplished and when you have something that's your baby and, and you put everything on your back, it's something about muscling up that courage to finish that goal. And it's something about uh, uh, seeing it all the way through because when something is yours, Nobody's going to take care of it like like you will. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to attack it like you will. So um, just getting started, it started at football. It gave me that mentality of just being unstoppable. And I knew that I probably never want to work for anybody another day in my life. And I knew that the best bet is if I put all the chips on me and, and, and kind of ride my own way to success. So. Um, I started with finding something that I, I really liked, which was clothing and fashion, and turned that into uh, an online, uh, fully loaded men's uh, lifestyle website, and, and, and amongst other things as well. But um, it just, me being an entrepreneur just kind of started with that mentality of, um, of just building something that's my baby and building something that's my own. Well. In, in sports, you've got your hotbeds. You've got, you know, New York hotbed for basketball, the South hotbed for football. The hotbed for entrepreneurship is where you just got delivered to. Mm -hmm. Oakland, California, you're playing. I mean, you are out on the West Coast now where, I mean, entrepreneurship is king. Mm -hmm. How can you leverage your platform as an NFL baller to meet people that can be influential to help you grow your e-commerce business, to help you uh, develop in some of the investments you've made? Man, that's, that's kind of um, one of the perks that it, that comes with being a, a, a football player is that it gets you in different circles of position that you could never get there. Um, or it would be more difficult to get there, let's say, if it was on your own. Um, so like you said, I'm in Oakland, Silicon Valley. Um, it's known for entrepreneurship. It's known for growing brands and, and brands starting off small and booming and selling for funding. A lot of funding available <laughs> yeah. if you're going to start a brand. Yeah, for sure. So um, it's just about getting out talking. Um, it, it starts with taking care of your job first on the field. And after that, it really comes easy. Um, P 
people start recognizing your face, recognizing your name, recognizing your efforts and the things that you're doing. And then um, you just use your mouthpiece to network that and just keep pushing it. Um, always be in somebody's mouth or mind at, at a good um, at a good pace or a good mention and you'll probably stay there. I love it. So talking to younger athletes about life after sports, you hear a lot of guys say, use the platform, leverage the platform. And the platform has been never been more tangible than it is today because of social media, right? Like your platform on social media has a number to it as far as followers, but it also has a track record to it as far as what you've posted, your messaging. Um, what advice would you give based on your stance and the way you use social media to the young athlete about their brand and how to handle it on social? Um, number, first, well, number one, first of all, don't use your social media that's going to dig you a hole um, or get you in any more trouble. People like to say things or people like to post, poke your buttons just to get a rouse out of you and it's not worth it. Um, as athletes, it sucks on social media a lot of times that people can say whatever they want to you but you can't say anything back. Um, that comes with the territory, but um, you can definitely use it uh, as a voice for yourself to push out any efforts um, or any extracurricular activities that you do have going on. And it, it does the same thing, like I just mentioned, it, uh, it, keeps you, it keeps your name in the mouth of others in a, good, in a good form as well as on the mind of others in a good form, which is important. So. Um, it gives people a visual of you and lets them understand who you are outside of your pads or outside of the locker room and gets to know um, who you really are on a personal level. And for you, I mean, if you were to DM or tweet somebody on social because you're where you're at right now, they're going to take your message. I mean, my, I'm not here to give you advice, but my one thing would say now that you're in the Valley, there's probably some pretty good people you can connect with. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Rub some elbows, shake some hands, man. All right, last but not least, um, for, for young athletes thinking beyond sports, as you know, this, this period of your life is a, you know, if you have a normal life expectancy, maybe an eighth mm -hmm. of your life. Mm -hmm. So as you think beyond that, you have a family, you have businesses you've invested in or started, um, what message would you give the young athlete who's chasing down this dream uh, when it comes to life after sports? Um, just start doing your research now and as in terms of what it is you want to be getting yourself into. Um, it's okay to think about the future. It's okay to make plans and make steps to propel you towards your future. But don't just sit stagnant because um, one thing that I learned as a young player um, when I was here in Tennessee, it was a lot of older guys on the team. And once the older guys would retire, um, they would be uh, twiddling their thumbs wondering what's next with my life. Um, they would be stagnant. They wouldn't be moving any uh, direction towards any positive goal. And that's a problem in our industry. It's a huge problem once guys retire. Um, so it's good to start thinking of those things early and actually setting in motion ways to accomplish goals of being successful post-athletic uh, career. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, look forward to seeing your continued success. All right.